Hi there, Sandra here from Creating Spain. It's going to be a short video today, but one I think you'll find quite interesting. If you have an inkjet printer, have you ever tried printing on acetate? This acetate says ink, laser, copies, manual. <laughs> nope. My inkjet is a Canon EcoTank inkjet. It will not print on that stuff. It just doesn't want to know. It beads up, it won't dry, it won't print on it. But I still wanted to print on acetate. It has its uses. Now you might wonder, why would you want to print on acetate? Well, one of the reasons is, if you make UV jewellery, you might decide you want to print something on acetate that you can put into your UV resin. You might decide you want to do some image transfer and this would allow you to transfer images using a UV gel to hard surfaces. I've got this piece which is out of the packet that I just shown you but I have treated it and I have now been able to print on it and it works beautifully. The only thing that you need to do this is some PVA glue. I've got a fast drying wood glue here and a roller. You apply a couple of lines of the PVA glue to one edge, use the roller and just roll it all over until you have your surface covered. Now I recommend doing it on a silicon mat or something because you're going to get glue around the edges. Allow it to dry. If you're using a fast drying glue like this one, it doesn't take that long. You can always waft it with a warm hair dryer if you need to, but wait for it to dry completely. This, I can put my fingers over, it feels completely non-sticky. It's dry. When you've done that, put it with the treated side that's going to be printed on into your printer and print your design as you wish. And this is done with an inkjet. It's perfectly fine. It came out of my printer dry. I didn't have to wait for it to dry for half an hour or anything. It was fine as soon as it came out of the printer. So that is how you print on acetate if you have an inkjet that doesn't like acetate printing. I have an acrylic blank here. I'm going to take some alcohol and clean off any grease that might be on it. I still have the protective layer on the other side, but I've removed it from this side. And you want some UV gel. I'm using a craft gel. You could use a nail gel if you were stuck for supplies. You don't want a vast amount of it because it's only going to have a thin coating there. And I don't add any extra dimension to the blank at the moment. I'm using a silicone tool to do this simply because I don't want to mess up any of my brushes. And this means I won't have to clean up afterwards. Andy, I think that's completely done. All right, so it's important that you put it ink side down on here. You want to get rid of any bubbles that might possibly be around. And take the bottom out of my lamp. And I'm going to cure it. So now I'm going to peel this off. And you can see that all the print has transferred to my tag. And if I wanted to, I could have cut this to size before I applied it. I just didn't bother. All I have to do is to go around it with an emery board. Once you've transferred your print, I do recommend that you seal it completely with a resin or whatever else you like to do your sealing with because this is actually a very, 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 very thin film on top of the surface. Okay, so if you were to put a design on here normally, I would suggest doing one with a slight inset border 
so that your UV gel or whatever it is you choose to seed it with will go around the outside edge, leaving a bit of a border. But that's how you transfer the design. It does it really, really well. And you get this lovely transparent effect. Okay, that is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care now.